The Federal Communications Commission has approved the most sweeping changes in a generation when it comes to the ownership of local newspapers, TV, and radio stations. Hari Srinivasan has the story from our New York studios. The FCC voted today to do away with a long-standing set of rules that prevented an individual or company from owning TV stations and newspapers in the same market. The change allows a person or company to own both a newspaper and a TV station or radio station in the same local market. It also means broadcasters could own two of the top four stations in a given market. It all comes as the media and digital landscape is in the midst of a dramatic transformation. But there are concerns about the new impact. Keech Hagee is a media reporter with the Wall Street Journal. So when we talk about local markets, how much of an impact do these rules have on, say, the news ecosystem in a local market? A huge impact. I mean, this is what keeps broadcast TV owners from being able to own two of the top TV stations in a market, which they've been straining against these rules for years. And looking at how the ecosystem has evolved, the broadcast newspaper uh, ownership ban um, had a huge impact on how on what what the world looks like today. Unfortunately, uh, the, the repeal of this is just a little too little too late for the newspapers. Um, right, because TV stations aren't interested in buying newspapers. They're not as profitable as they once were. Right. But they could buy each other, or right. a larger conglomerate could buy multiple stations in that market. Totally. But but for many decades, you know, a lot of companies were bumping up against these rules and shaping themselves accordingly. And so what's the FCC's rationale and all the supporters behind this? The rationale is that, uh, look around, this is not a world of three major broadcast networks and like one or two newspapers in a town anymore. There's Facebook, there's Google, people are increasingly getting their news online and from zillions of different sources. And this notion that uh, people need to be you know, protected from the possible monopoly power of um, a local broadcaster is, you know, it's a little silly. So this isn't the specific case about Sinclair Broadcast, but that's been kind of part of this conversation, at least in the background. Right. How are they impacted by this? Well, it's a little bit complicated. Um, they certainly will be helped a little bit, especially in this pending deal they have to buy Tribune Media. Um, this, these rules that were rolled back today really affect the, the larger markets. And Sinclair traditionally is in smaller markets. Um, it's sort of the biggest player in smaller markets. But if it buys Tribune, it will be in bigger markets. And so it won't have to um, spin off as many stations if it does get this merger done. Um, but bigger picture, a lot of why you're hearing so much about Sinclair is there have been other regulatory changes. There is one of the rules uh, that was rolled back today about JSAs, joint service agreements. It's complicated, but it basically lets um, broadcast station owners operate another, another station in their market, that Sinclair's been doing that for years, um, that will be very beneficial to Sinclair. And generally, the regulatory environment has been very beneficial to them in the last year. But what are the concerns about media consolidation that these rules raise? Well, um, the people who uh, oppose this change are worried that having fewer voices in a community is going to be bad for democracy. It's going to be bad for debate. And um, especially that allowing these TV companies, especially to consolidate their newsrooms, is going to mean journalists are going to be laid off. You know, companies are going to look for cost efficiencies, and there's going to be less news. Um, the, you know, of course, the companies say, no, this is going to make it easier for us to make our newsrooms profitable. So we'll see. Have there been companies kind of waiting on the sidelines for a relaxation of these kind of rules, ready to sort of go on a buying spree? Absolutely. I mean, the broadcast industry has been straining against these rules for years, lobbying against them for years. So I think what we'll see most of is some like swaps between uh, two big station station groups might like trade stations back and forth so that one can have two stations in one market and the other one can have two stations in the other market because the real advantage is um, market power within a specific city. All right, Keech Hagee of the Wall Street Journal, thanks so much. Thank you.